Hi everyone, it's Chenzo from Reality Art Pod here to talk about the challenge All Stars 4 Episode 6 titled Karma Maria. Before I dive in, I put a link in my description so you can catch up on my previous recaps. If you like the content, consider liking and subscribing, but let's dive into it. The episode starts with Leroy basically being me trying to record my videos. The last time on let me do it over. Loser group was formed by the, the what? Probable? Did I say that right? I'll do it over. Ugh. The players return to the house after Brandon's elimination, and Cam gushes over Leroy being her supportive, encouraging partner. Now Cam needs to get her own star. They start kissing, and the camera crew is like, eek, get me out of here. Kara tells Ryan that she's trying to manage her beef with Cam and Leroy while also protecting her star from them. Ryan is friends with all of them and wants to play the middle. In the morning, Laurel and Nicole chat. Laurel wants to repair their relationship and Nicole seems down to squash it for the sake of the game. They hug it out, seeming to agree to be friends. For their challenge called Take a Seat, they'll be playing in pairs at a stadium. They have to race to sit in seats and the last players who can't find their seats are out, pretty much like musical chairs. In phase one, they're playing in five rounds of musical chairs to eliminate five teams. They pick their teams with Cam and Leroy pairing up and Kara seemingly betraying Ace and picking Jay which hurts Ace's feelings. In the first round, it's a mad dash to the seats and Brad gets lost in the sauce trying to find it, causing he and Laurel to be eliminated. In round 2, Derek tells us he's a track champ and plans to dominate this challenge, but is hoping Jasmine can keep up. Veronica takes a little tumble getting into the seats but Adam sits in the wrong seat so he and Flora are eliminated. In the third round, Cam takes a tumble that they showed in the preview for the episode that made me worry that Cam would be out of the game but she seems fine. The seats in this stadium also look so uncomfortable. What kind of stadium is this? Veronica and Steve are eliminated. In round 4, Kifla mentions that his hamstring has given out and he and Tina are eliminated. Round 5 sees them having to run far and high, resulting in Jasmine and Derek being eliminated. But in phase 1, they were all playing for just a 30 second advantage in phase 2 where all of the eliminated players are back in and the players who weren't eliminated have a 30 second head start. To me, it was back to have the eliminated players come back in. Firstly, I liked the musical chairs aspect of this challenge. I wish they would have just played that out, but phase two is racing to find star tokens in the stands, coming back to TJ to do a balancing blocks puzzle. There will be one winning team with the fastest time, five bottom pairs, and the rest will be the middles. They get started and race out with Ace and Nicole finding their token first and Kifla really struggling with his leg injury now. Ace and Nicole end up winning the challenge with Jay and Kara, Flora and Adam, and Ryan and Avery being the middle group. Everyone else who I'll throw up on screen will be the bottoms. The middle group will pick two women and two men from the bottoms to go to elimination. Back at the house, Jay and Kara talk. Kara wants Jasmine and Veronica to be nominated, but Jay doesn't want to nominate Jasmine and tells Kara that everyone wants to bring Jasmine to the final, which adds a lot of complication to Kara's plan of giving Jasmine the star. Jasmine finds out that Kara is campaigning against her and calls Kara a hypocrite. Go oh, fuck yourself. Next question. Keep love FaceTimes with his wife, getting some good motivation from her. Together, they want to open a mental health facility. Later at night, Nicole and Laurel hook up in the sauna in the backyard for hours, and then they think it's so hilarious when they get back in the house. Brad wears a little towel, and Steve campaigns to the guys. Ace likes Steve and wants to vote in Brad and Leroy every time to get them out. Cam tells Jay that she wants to volunteer to go into elimination, and she wants to go against Tina so she can steal a star from Kara. In the nominations for the men, Kifla gets the most votes, and Steve is going in with him. For the women, Kara speaks up against Cam's plan to defend her own star. Ryan kicks off the voting, nominating Tina and Cam, saying it's not the Cara Maria show, and Adam gets riled up, saying he doesn't like Tina, and that Tina's playing a shitty game. Kara pretty much manipulates Adam and Avery into voting her way, and that pisses Flora and Ryan off. In the end, Kipla and Steve and Veronica and Jasmine are voted into elimination, with Kara having really gotten her way. Afterwards, Flora fills in Nicole and calls Kara a little baby with a diaper full of shit, and Nicole calls Kara a clown in a circus. They head to elimination, where TJ explains the game Rope Rumble, a physical elimination where there will be a bunch of knotted up ropes in the middle. They have to do everything possible to get all of their ropes onto their opponent's side. TJ offers the winners of the challenge to step down into elimination and Ace decides not to play. But this is right up Nicole's alley as a firefighter so she volunteers to go in. She asks Veronica and Jasmine if they want to make a deal and Veronica gives a really pathetic effort, telling Nicole that she could be Veronica's number one ally. And Jasmine just says that she saved Nicole before when she had power so Nicole takes Jasmine's spot in the elimination. When she comes down, Nicole accuses Veronica of being in an alliance with Kara and Veronica tells Nicole she's crazy for saying that, which was great gaslighting from Veronica because then Nicole tells TJ that she changed her mind and wants to switch opponents? This should not have been allowed once the decision had already been made. TJ quickly says he's okay with it, so Veronica and Jasmine are switched and Jasmine's going into elimination. Nicole then presto changes into elimination gear. Alright Nicole, get changed.
It's the guys round first. Steve goes for the rope, but Kifla goes for Steve, flipping him like a pancake. At this point, they're wrestling, and it's putting pressure on Kifla's injury, resulting in Steve edging him out and winning the elimination. So we lose Kifla here, who was a joy to watch, with his highlight being getting emotional when he did well in the first challenge, winning his star early, but he wasn't very well connected, with his strongest connection seeming to be with Cyrus, who was around for like a day. It was nice seeing him as a very noble, goofy guy, very ironic that he faked a leg injury earlier this season as a joke and then ended up having an actual leg injury. My aunt would say, laugh, 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 cry, cry, cry. Overall, he was a positive figure and I wouldn't be surprised if we see him again, though he won a daily challenge, won an elimination, and I could see him also being very satisfied. Enough with this to not feel the need to return. The ladies get started, they go to opposite ends of the rope and start pushing. Nicole obviously bodies Jasmine here and ends up winning the elimination, so we lose Jasmine, who came into the season really well connected and seemed to only grow on those connections as the season went on. She made an enemy out of Kara, which I would say is her biggest mistake, but it resulted in her getting her star. And it was unfortunate that Kara was in the middle group here and targeted her as the majority of the people who were safe wouldn't have voted her in. Jasmine should have been safe after Nicole chose Veronica and the show letting Nicole switch it up and choose Jasmine after she was deemed safe leads me to say that Jasmine was robbed. And of course, I would like to see Jasmine back again, though I retain that I don't think she'll ever win the show. The episode ends with Steve deciding to give Keefla a star to Ace, pretty much diplomatically because Ace won the challenge, and Nicole takes Jasmine's star. Overall, I thought this was a really solid episode. I liked that there were two eliminations. I do think it could have benefited from being a little bit longer, maybe an hour instead of 45 minutes. This cast is so strong, I feel like so much great footage is probably being wasted and left on the cutting room floor here. With the editors being on a bit of a crunch and a lot to fit in, I feel like we lose a lot of the story telling of what's really happening with Nicole and Laurel. When they were hooking up in the sauna, Nicole and Laurel were obviously wasted. So you're telling me there's a whole night of all of these all-stars drinking and we didn't get any of it? I want more content and I want it now. But I guess that's all I have to say about this episode. Let me know in the comments what did you think of the episode. If you like this video, consider liking and subscribing. I'll be back next Wednesday with more challenge. Until next time, have a nice weekend. Bye!